before watching this i would like to let you guys know that i have already made a video for every animatronic that will appear in five nights at freddy's 2. go to the description to check out the playlist and see if you missed one please do not leave a comment so that i can make a video about one of the animatronics because i already have so guys please stop commenting about the old chica the old slash withered bonnie i already did those videos so go check it out there so you guys know how in five nights at freddy's one our only line of defense are two doors on the left and right side well in five nights at freddy's two there are no doors here is an image of the new security guard room there are no doors there is a left air vent a right air vent and a main hallway and i'm going to elaborate the way that the animatronics go through these three different paths in a later video because i'm trying to focus right now on the fact that there are no doors and also you see that red triangle alert sign i'm also going to discuss that in a later video so again there are no doors so what does that mean for me well that means we're gonna have to go ham up in this game that red bar at the bottom i think is uh the new freddy fazbear hiding feature which as well i will talk in a later video right now i'm just gonna express my thoughts on this no doors thing well again i think scott umped up the difficulty level because in the sequel in sequels a game producer has to make a crucial decision on whether to make the game easier or harder and i think scott chose the harder part i mean obviously with more animatronics and no doors he just revved up the difficulty meter to the max and beyond and i was thinking even if there were doors i wouldn't think it would be that helpful at all because again animatronics mostly go through the air vents now and you can't put a door in the air vent you could probably lock it with something but i'm pretty sure they would bust through it and what's funny is that there's light there's a light button on the on the air vent so i don't know what's up with that but yeah another thing is guys remember they're trying to rebuild the freddy fazbear pizzeria to make it a more kid friendly place so that it attracts more customers but if parents walked in and saw large metal doors everywhere i'm pretty sure that would discourage them to allow their kids to play in the freddy fazbear pizzeria so again i think scott taking a more realistic approach to this game it's not like he's trying to make you know i mean he's, he's obviously doing both he's making the game harder for us and he's going on a more realistic approach if there's no doors i'm pretty sure there's still no problem obviously scott has created some sort of system so that we could survive the nights i mean i hope that the hiding feature is better than the doors because i really hated using doors uh you know opening opening them up closing them it was annoying and it consumes a lot of power i don't know how the power system is going to work in five nights at freddy's 2 if i do i'll make a video about it but for now obviously in five nights at freddy's 1 the doors were the things that consumed the most power but I, I would like to know how the power system works in five nights at freddy's 2 since there's only a little battery gauge at the top left similar to outlast and if that goes out does the whole pizzeria go out again I mean, who knows? Maybe they did upgrade the power system. But yeah, guys, just that's just my take on, on the no door situation. That really, it really doesn't uh, scare me as much because, again, Scott is making improvements to the game. So obviously, our line of defense probably improved with this. Who knows what he could be doing? So guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I've got a few more theories going on, and I'll see you guys in the next one. And I'm gonna die. <laughs>